Donnie, Donnie, let's rip it. Let's rip it off, Donnie. Boom. 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 Check it out. Oh man, check it out. Oh, we got the DT26 from Tornos. And it's happening. We are building a full Swiss machining department. Now you look at the GT32 and it is a amazing machine, amazing technology. And the DT26 is also amazing. It's a little bit smaller. It's like entry level to a sliding head machine. Check it out, it's super cool, right? We're talking flexibility, efficiency. It's just user friendly, easy to program. When you look at Swiss machines, you'll see a ton of these machines out there. And they can pretty much machine 90% of all parts that you'll see on a Swiss. And then on the higher end, that's when you'll switch up to a GT32. But we're gonna teach all of it. And then we have three more machines coming. It's crazy. Hey, what's up? Oh man, Titans of CNC. Boom, Swiss machine. Oh, look at Donnie, he's got his boots, he's got his boots. Oh man, we gotta mess with Donnie, right? <laughs> so we introduced you to Donnie in, in our last video when we brought in the GT32. And he talked about working at his father's shop uh, age 12, started setting up Swiss at age 13. So if you don't understand Swiss machining, he's going to break it down. He's gonna teach you what is Swiss machining, what's the machine, how to use the controls, how to program, how to set up, and basically go from part to part to part, which will allow your companies to be more efficient. And those that have young guys, then you want them to actually step up and start programming these machines, you just watch the tutorials, and that's it. Boom. Boom. So this is two machines in the matter of like four days, four or five days. And uh, we got another bar feeder coming. And then uh, then we got the Hellers coming. We got Hellers, full pallet automation. We're gonna teach you guys how to automate, how to program for automation. So you can actually go home, spend time with your families while the machines run flawless, baby. Tyson. Mill turn guru. This is a small little machine. Yeah. With a lot there. of power though. Just fast. Very, very intricate, very Thanks. fast. I think people too, they sometimes underestimate like how difficult, like they think just because it's a small part that, you know, it's easy compared to like a giant part. Yeah. But you get, you start getting really small, you have super tight tolerances, delicate features. It's difficult it's, stuff. Yeah, you, you, can, you can move one tenth out and then be scrapping parts and you can't even see that. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I like I like how when I was messing with Trevor and they had, they had the cameras on that I didn't know and all of a sudden they pointed to you and your head was like coming up and they're like, oh Chris, he's just a little guy. And I'm like, that's a US Marine. He's just hiding out over there, man. He's hiding out. He's like he's like everywhere. I can be where anywhere in the shop and then I look to the side and then you see Chris like, whoa, <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you, squirrels. Oh man, thank you, squirrels, thank you for what you've done for our country, oh, brother. Yeah, oh, and now you're teaching CNC. Grinding, baby. Grinding, baby. If you ain't grinding, what? Yeah. What's, how's it go? Uh, if you ain't, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> You gotta give Chris some slack though because he can't go in the deep end of the bathtub without floaties. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Brutal, man. You got a new neighbor and a... I know. They actually still make bigger chips than you make. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, man. Donnie, Donnie, let's rip it. Let's rip it off, Donnie. 
Let's rip it up. Oh, look at how easy that was. And look at this, we got we got like tornos hiding out of there. Oh, what's up guys? Boom, boom. Oh man, we got the LNS bar feeder right here. And then we got the IAMCA bar feeder on that side. It's color coordinated. We got blue, we got blue, we got dark and dark. Swiss machine, baby. First machine a couple days ago. Second machine, boom. And that is the first two of five machines that will be filling out our Swiss machining department. We even got mature on the floor, 12 foot bar. Can you actually give us a rundown of the machine, where the tools sit, how they work? Cool? Yeah. All right, so hunched over in the machine here. This right here is your main gang, all right? This is X1 and Y1. Each one of these tools can take either turning tools here, some OD type of tool, milling tools here, and each tool comes down with the material right here. It's gonna come in and attack it and move from one tool to the next. And then you have live tools right here that can come in and do either milling, drilling, tapping, you name it. So these are your ID tools right here. They are in line with the main spindle and the subspindle. They actually move over, it parks in front of the, uh, the main spindle and the material feeds into the tools and you could do drilling, boring, tapping, you name it, all static right here. Here, you have your B-axis. Now this in particular is sweet because this is programmable. You put tools in here or in here, and this can actually be programmed to move at different angles, pretty much whatever you could think of with live tools. It can happen at different angles with that V-axis. So what makes Torno so awesome is that none of these tool holders you're seeing are permanent. Within a couple hours, for example, I can go from having a V-axis right here to two sets of ID tools. You buy one machine, you can add whatever you want to it, and you can either have a full package or whatever package suits your needs. So with Torno, so you can get complete versatility. Come back for future videos because I really cannot wait to show you all the different things we can do with this machine. Boom, Donnie, he's a natural, right? So we got the GT32 over here. We got the DT26. We got Donnie in the house. Free education coming your way. We're gonna show you guys this new technology, Swiss machining, it's magical. You can hit that material from so many different angles. And when other machines would take minutes to drop apart, it's seconds in a Swiss machine. And Donnie's gonna show you all of it. Boom. Boom, glad to have you, man. This guy is doing great. Thank you so much, man. Boom. Boom. Hit the ground running. Let's go. Boom. Swiss machining. We're out.